Hey everyone, time to tackle, well, it used to be wheat waffles, now it's honest waffles. <laughs> He's going to, what, what was he, what's he saying here? Western society will inevitably collapse unless change happens now. What's he talking about though? He's talking about baby making, right? Okay, now I'm going to go to warn you guys. Uh, I'm going to be bringing out single mothers again, welfare moms right something he's not going to consider so let's hear what he has to say <laughs> sorry this is you're gonna laugh okay guys and welcome back to another video on honest waffles and oh by the way this video is way too long it's almost an hour for him to simply say women should get together with men and produce babies because if they don't, the world will die. That's what he's saying. That's what he's taking 53 minutes to say. Today, I have a little bit of a different one. And it's going to be quite controversial. No, no, it's it's not different. And it's not controversial. <laughs> okay, it is controversial. I'm not, that's fine. That's right. But this isn't different. This is the same trad con. I want to get the girl. Uh, she refuses me. And so I'm going to beg her. This is a begging video. Ladies, society's going to collapse unless you get together with me and produce babies. By the way, this guy doesn't even care about the babies. You, you'll see. <laughs> and I can imagine that a lot of people that have already read the title, they've clicked on this video and they think it's going to be some big hot take and they're already in disagreement. And they think that what I'm about... They don't think it. It is a... They know it's a hot take. And they are in disagreement. <laughs> what to say is just some outrageous hot take. It's an outlandish viewpoint that they can never see eye to eye with. But that's not what I want this video to be. Well, that's what it is. So you have to own that shit, man. <laughs> what I want this video to be is as close to a formal proof, a formal proof and presentation for what I'm saying is true. That, trust me, I've not just thought of this off the cuff and thought yes you did i'm going to show people that you have <laughs> i stick the camera on and you know video myself doing a hot take for the next 20 right, minutes get on with no, it this dude. is something that i have loosely had in the back of my mind for at least several months now as i've been yeah loosely is an after in researching watching other videos about birth rates and the way that society is heading that I seriously birth rates, all the trad cons care about birth rates, right? <laughs> this is proof that he's a trad con. All these dating gurus are trad cons. They have traditional conservative views, right? If you're chasing the ladies like he does, you're willing to adopt typical male gender roles that frankly are crap for men, right? believe that what I'm saying in this video is true and by the end of it you'll end up agreeing with me so much so that to the point you'll be on the same page and think that you know what yeah this okay no okay let's see how far do we have to go society will collapse in 50 years uh, I'm sorry to put you guys through this because okay what have we got here ever expanding government spending see government spending that's not a trad con concerned is it Let's see. The ideal system. Okay. Could be long video. Let's hear it. Issue is going to be the most significant thing that decides whether society will either collapse in the next 50 to 100 years or if they're somehow able to work out a solution and fix this social incohesiveness, which is going to be inevitable. It's going to happen because we're. This is what we call collapse porn. It's guys who aren't getting what they want personally saying, because I'm not getting what I want personally, society's going to end. That's what this is about. Already seeing the consequences of it to some degree, this incohesion is starting to form in society. The society incohesion. Okay. I'm going to translate that to human speak. Women aren't selecting men. That's what it is. Men aren't partnering up with women. Look, there's no 
cohesion with men anyway. You guys know the old standard, right? Guy's your best friend. He finds a special girl. He revolves his whole life around her, and you don't see your best friend anymore, right? So when he says cohesion, he means women are selecting men. That's it. Society's either going to have to wake up and address and fix this issue, or we are going to see some serious consequences. The tension will grow and grow and amount in the coming generations. Living standards are going to drop drastically. Well, the living standards dropping has nothing to do with producing babies, really. It's the top 1% draining the good out of everybody else. I mean, that's the obvious, right? across all generations no matter if you're part of the youth today if you're a working adult or if you're a pensioner the current track and path that society is heading now it is inevitable that we're going to see living standards drop in cohesion increase and grow and societal tension and conflict get to the point where we could be seeing imminent collapse and obviously that's quite dramatic to say but this will pan in order to change things Communities are formed around a need, right? Uh, people get together like, let's say a small town, everyone used to work at the same mine. So everyone had, you know, that's where our unions came about, right? You know, it's like we, all the men in the, in the community had the same goal. They want to keep the mine open, right? Or we, we've got to keep this union. We got to keep our wages up to keep our wives bribed, bribed, right? Uh, but without that, there is no community, right? People just naturally split apart. They go from being lions to tigers. And now, over the next 50 to 100 years, if society carries on the way it's going. And to cut straight to the point, the message of this, of this video that I want to address and drill home, in fact, I've got it right here. And th this is the wake-up call that society needs. And if they don't adhere to this, then we are going to head on that dire path of, so of societal collapse, as I've just described. This is the bitter truth that people need to wake up to. And if they don't address this, then society is going to have all of these problems. And this truth is, is that if you don't have kids, and if you think you deserve a pension when you're old then you are entitled for other kids you didn't raise to work for you and care for you. Therefore, you're a freeloader and should pay more tax. There you go. I should have started here, everyone. <laughs> you're a freeloader, right? Okay, dude, can I ask you something? Okay. Uh, suppose you're... First of all, I better point out that men should be excluded from what you're saying because men have no options. It's your dating guru, right? Right. So you can't just say, well, I'm going to get together with a girl tomorrow and produce babies. It's not up to you. It's entirely up to her. So this taxing that you're suggesting, men have to be entirely exempt from it. It's that simple. And you're not going to change my mind on that. I guarantee you that. We shouldn't be taxed for things that are outside of our power. The men have no choices for this, right? So I've got both the issue and I've got the solution down here at the bottom. And this is what I think society needs to wake up to. I believe that it is an incredibly selfish decision that if you don't have kids by the end of your lifetime, and if you think that you den then deserve a pension. So if, if you don't agree with that, and by the looks of it, it seems that a lot of people think that that is some extreme take. And so well, let, let me bring this up. What I'd say earlier about single moms, right? So a mother on welfare has children. So you're suggesting that she shouldn't be paying high taxes because she's produced children, yet she's also living off these taxes, right? So this woman is already freeloading off the system, plus producing children that are freeloading off the system, right? 
So this is where you're going with it. This is the gigantic hole in your theory. Hot take. It's an outrageous thing to say. But if society carries on believing that, that you can not have kids and take out a pension and still not have society face any consequences, then that is what is going to lead to society's collapse. So I've got this message. Oh, by the way, also, these welfare moms, are the kids going to grow up to be wealthy people? Are they guaranteed to be, grow up and uh, be producing in society? Hmm? Just, they're just thinking about that, right? The, the video down here. Are they going to become these working adults? And you can keep reminding yourself of this. And I'm going to be attempting to prove why this is true. I'm not going to attempt to prove why I think it's true or it might be true. No, I am going... Oh, by the way, here's another thing. What if a woman or a man is impotent? What if, what if a woman's barren? Should she automatically pay higher taxes because she was born crippled that way? Or what if you can't pr produce sperm? Should you pay higher taxes just because you have a physical ailment? But this is some ableist shit here. <laughs> Can you imagine? Sorry, uh, uh, all these these people in wheelchairs should pay more taxes because you know. We healthy people can climb stairs. <laughs> Make a stair tax for them. Going to be trying to prove that this is true. If you don't have kids and you take out a pension, then you are selfish. That there is no left, right, in between, or different sort of viewpoint that you can have. If those two things are true, that you don't have kids and you take out a pension, you are selfish. Provided that. Well, dude, to be honest. Your whole collapse porn video is an artwork of selfishness. You want to get the girl. She doesn't want to get with you. And so you're going to talk about the society collapsing to get what you want. Like, this is an entire act of selfishness on your part. That that pension is taken out from the state. And the reason that this is going to cause the biggest amount of societal inco incohesion in the next 50 to 100 years. Well, let's just think about the scale of this problem for a second. What are the How does that... So what, what do you mean by incohesion? Right? You mean like dissolution? Like society is going to fail? Because you're talking about incohesion, like, like people aren't getting together. I think you're using the wrong word the two biggest sources of government expenditure? What are the two most bloated, sizable parts that the government has to spend money on year after year after the year? It's not the military, it's not education, it's not infrastructure, roads, bridges, etc. It ultimately comes down to two things. It is healthcare and it is pensions, so looking after the elderly. And both of Hey, here's another thing. Right. Honest waffles. Uh, if you wanted to knock down pensions, you could force people, young people, to look after their own parents. Right? So you're either spending your own money personally to look after your parents, or you're sp spending your money in taxes for uh, old age homes. And single people, or I should say single, young people Young couples have already spoken. They don't want to deal with their elderly parents in their own home. They don't want to change their diapers. So they'd rather pay their taxes and you know, put their money into, you know, age old, old age homes, right? So, I mean, that's a, that's a work of uh, selfishness, isn't it? Yet you don't mention that, Right. Because you yourself have no desire to look after elderly parents. Where, hey, do you have an elderly parent with you in the back? Is he or she or both them living with you? Honest waffles. Of these two things are basically the same. They're, they're two sides of the same coin. Because healthcare is overwhelmingly consumed by the elderly. 
if you, yeah, but there's no way around that, though, right? We're all going to get old and sickly and die unless we have an accident, right? Unless we die in our youth somehow. So there's no getting around that. Unless you want to kill off the elderly. <laughs> if you think about the 80-20 rule, the 80-20 rule states that 80% of anything is consumed by 20% of something, or 80% of something is produced by 20% of something, or used by 20% of something. It's always This 80-20 rule is all about supposedly 20% of the top guys getting all the girls. So now he's using dating guru talk for some other aspect of society. <laughs> 80 causes 20 and with regard to healthcare 80 percent of healthcare is consumed by 20 percent of the population and if you're in a european country this will almost certainly come in the form of taxes so you're taxing working people you're taking away their spending power you're taking well yes uh the older generation looked after us and we are reciprocating we are looking after them in their old age. I mean, that's the trade. So you're essentially complaining that people are willing to trade. So your attitude, your non-selfish attitude, is that when people become old and can't work, we should just throw them out, right? But if that's the young person's attitude, why would parents want to give birth to children who are going to do that to them? The way goods and services that they otherwise would be able to purchase with their money, and you're giving it to elderly people who then use that. Yeah, this, this isn't selfish. I want to spend my money on me. I'm not going to look after the elderly. <laughs> to <laughs> consume health care in, in the form of government-mandated health services. So if you just take the example of the UK, the healthcare is government provided, which means that money is taken from working people and it's funded into this system called the NHS. And then the NHS uses that to care for people that are sick. And 80% of that money goes to elderly people, which is only about 20% of the population because of the- Well, that's good, right? They, they need it, right? That's right. 80-20 rule. And as for pensions and being looked after, that is just a similar sort of thing, but in, in a roundabout way. So pensions, if you're over the age of 65, again, I'll use the example of the UK, you'll receive a state pension and then that... Young people prefer this, dude, and so will you. Because the alternative is that you would have to be not selfish and look after your parents in your own home. And everyone has already spoken on that. They don't want that. They'd rather have their elderly parents have pensions and live in their own separate space. Money comes from taxes, which is taxes on working people, the middle 18 to 65 age population. And then that money gets taxed through those people and given to the elderly members of society who are 65 and up. And then they're able to use that spending power any which way that they please. And these two government departments are by far the biggest. And this isn't just true of the UK, it's also true of America, which has a very privatized health system, but- Yeah, that works out well, doesn't it? Privatized healthcare, only the wealthy can get looked after. So if you're an elderly person whose body's falling apart, you're screwed in America. Medicare or Medicaid, I can't remember which one it's called, is the biggest government departments alongside the social security system or the pension scheme. So no matter what Western country you're in, these two... So looking after the elderly is called a scheme. Right. ...two systems are by far the biggest, and they are all consumed by the elderly population. And if this isn't changed or addressed, then it's going to cause society's collapse. However, you might think... Okay. So you want to change it? 
you want to not look after the elderly, even though eventually you'll become old yourself. Okay, then why hasn't society already collapsed? Like, you know, living standards are collapsed. That's a good question. Why hasn't society collapsed? How come all you guys who can't get laid or get that special girl in your life, how come society isn't collapsing like you're saying it will? The way humans have been on planet Earth for the last 100,000 years and living standards have only increased and that time dramatically so well, that explains why there's so many elderly around right living standards has increased you know we can live longer what can i say we can be we can live longer while being infirmed in the last 200 300 years or so since the industrial revolution what's going to change in the next 100 years well the demographics of western populations is dramatically changing. So uh, what I've got on the screen here now is the ideal system. And under the ideal system is how you'll see that society can still work and function. And the best you can say is that it might be the best system, but it's not ideal. You know, a system where men beg women to shack up with them and, and suffer child support, and alimony and that, that that's not an ideal system dude or how about the earnings gap that men have to like married men have to work more than than single men right is that an ideal system and we can have a large elderly population which consumes massive massive amounts of healthcare and pensions which is at the expense of the generation below them who are working society can still function if the system looks like this and it's, it's all about the population makeup the demographics which dictate this population and society can still function if it looks like this however society doesn't look like this and that's what i'm going to later compare the ideal to so then you'll be able to see that the way that society is heading that if it carries on down this path, we won't be able to sustain this large elderly population without- This is a very long-winded video he's got to try and make his point. Because he just can't come out and say it. <laughs> ...without having dramatic consequences on living standards for the future. So first, let's just explain the ideal system. And then you'll see how we have essentially been operating over the last 50 to 60 years and we've been able to provide a free health service for elderly people and pensions for them without society collapsing. So first, the first thing you need to understand is that there's three tiers in society. You have three tiers of people and two of those tiers, the ones in red, are freeloading tiers. There you go. What I tell you guys about him not caring about children because the, the ch children are not freeloaders, they're investments, right? You're investing in the next working class that'll look after you when you are old. But this guy doesn't want to look after the elderly, right? So why would you invest in them? But the fact that he's calling an investment, you know, uh, freeloaders, shows you he doesn't give a shit about children. He, it shows you what he thinks of little kids. Little kids are, are means to an end. Remember, this is a begging video. This guy's saying, ladies, I want to be with you. Uh, society's going to collapse. I know you don't like me personally. Otherwise, you'd be with me already. But, you know, please come and, and accept my bribe. And we'll produce all these babies I don't give a shit about. <laughs> so everyone in society freeloads three things at different points in their life and two of those things happen when you're young one of those things happens when you're old and when you're young you freeload in two ways so you freeload off of your parents in the form of food and shelter you are aware that these kids don't come out of the ground and knock on your door and then freeload Parents decide to bring them into uh, their lives, right, as helpless babies. 
they're not responsible for anything that other people do. Nothing. So they can't be called freeloaders whatsoever. So when you're a child, your parents who have given birth to you... How about pets, dude? Pets are freeloaders. Are you against people having pets? Right? From age 0 to 18, they will be, be providing food. So, you know, if someone has a pet that freeloads them for their entire life, that's fine. Right? But these children, they're freeloaders, right? Also, housewives. Are you against housewives? Because housewives are freeloaders. Right? But I bet you'd you would be glad to have a housewife. You'd say, look, I'll work my extra hours and you can do nothing. Just be in my life. And again, what do you think about these welfare moms? Because they are adults. They're not children and they're not elderly, but they're living off the system. If the kids are considered freeloaders, what are the mothers, right? They're draining. They're not working. They're draining off the system during their time. So they get to be children, freeloading. Then they get to be freeloading young adults, and then they'll be pensioners, right? But you can't tax them, right? Because she's produced children, like you say. This is all you're saying. If you produce children, you don't have to be taxed. So think about it. This woman doesn't have to work her entire life. She. And she doesn't have to put more taxes in because she produced the babies. Do, do you see the huge hole in your thesis? And shelter, which they've been able to pay for through the work that they are doing. So if they work as a bus driver, as a electrician, as a teacher, whatever it might be, then they are earning money and then they are using that money. Okay, let's get ahead of this. It takes way too long. Having kids is the key to sustainability, really. So having kids while you don't work is the key to sustainability. Okay, let's 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 hear this. What's next, because as I've said, this is the ideal system, and the reason that this is sustainable. So the reason that this was able to work for the last fifty to eighty years since World War Two that we've still been able to provide both of these, all three of these things for the youth and for the elderly without society collapsing is because the system has been this ideal. And the reason it's been this ideal is because all- So since World War II, but that's when women started deselecting men, when, when they no longer needed us. And you're a dating guru, honest waffles. So that's that's an issue with you, isn't it? Right. And that that's ideal. Three groups of people, all three tiers of the population have roughly been the same. And in fact, if you rewind the clock to about 70 years ago, you would actually have significantly okay, less. This is just a long winded way of them saying we're not making enough babies. Uh, we need more babies and therefore please shack up with me. That's what he's saying. Now, let's skip ahead. Okay, not having kids is selfish. Well, I've answered that. I don't think I need to go on this. So, like I said, here's an idea. We waffles, having kids. There are all kinds of kids at orphanages. Why don't you adopt one? You don't need to have women to have children. There, there are children out there that could be turned. Think about it. Here's the non-selfish way you could do it. You don't need to shack up with a woman. You can go to the adoption agency and adopt a child and turn one of these kids. You could turn one of these welfare kids into a viable working adult. Right? And it'd be totally unselfish because you'd, you'd be sacrificing, right? This would be self-sacrificing for you. You could bring a little boy or a girl who needs a parent, you adopt them, and you can convert them into a working adult, right? 
I bet you never thought of that. Okay. Now, let's get into the solution. So the solution to ha not having children is to have children, right? So how are you going to do that? Are you going to say that we have to force women to shack up with you and produce babies? Unless you say that, you have no solution. Home in this video. And the final thing I want to say is just, just looking at a quick solution is how can we fix this? Well, the way that we fix it mm -hmm. is we need to tax this selfish group of people who chooses not to have kids more so it, it ends up balancing and compensating for what they didn't provide to raise okay so you admit you can't force women to do shit so you just want to tax them right you want to tax but you're only going to be taxing men see because like i said if women want to avoid being taxed all they have to do is produce babies and they can go on welfare so now they they've got the babies that's that's the only criteria you're giving so they got babies, they don't have to pay heavily taxed, and they can be on welfare, they can live off those taxes, right? So that's your big solution. So what's going to happen is single men are going to be taxed to the roof. Single men like you who can't get a date, right? You would love to not be single, but you can't help it because, you know, it's not up to you whether a woman accepts you or not. So this isn't a solution this is an aggravation of the current problem, at least for us guys, right? So you see, everyone, Honest Waffles is a TradCon, right? And TradCons are destructive to society. And they're definitely destructive to men in particular, right? This is the enemy of men, the TradCon. Okay, we'll end it here.